Hey, hello everybody. This is the last Raider. We are back again with another video. Uh, sorry about this week. Disasters happened around my area and, you know, essential construction worker, you have to go out and help people with some of their stuff, help people with roofs and things. And it's just, I would get home at night, look at some, respond to some stuff on Twitter, and then I would just about go to sleep and completely forgot or just did not have time. Anyway, things have calmed down now, so I should be able to go back to the regular schedule programming of one video a week, or one video a day. Anyway, we are back again, and this time um, we're going to be talking about Comicsgate stuff. Yeah, um, we're going to be talking about how somebody who was trained to work, who was trained by the military, apparently missed the class on Hearts and Minds campaigns. Uh, you have here is Captain Cummings right now. He's been going after Peter Samedi, and this whole nonsense, I believe, started with Don, John Delarus going after, and John Delarus and Captain Cummings going after just some guy for something. I mean, just some guy accusing him of being comics gate, and then accusing him of some other stuff, being pro pedophile, and some other nonsense. And it's the you've got to stop it and look at. You stop and you think about like, okay, um, just some guy did a review of Cyberfrog. And in the review, just some guy goes, uh, yeah, the, the story is just, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter every time we skip over. And it, it seems like that Ethan's having trouble writing a story out and getting it going. Uh, art's a, art was damn amazing in the book. I had a few problems with the art. Uh, there was a weird future smoke thing going on that Ethan put in there should have had more of a, a straight line, like a missile comm trail or something to that effect. But anyway, you have uh, that, that didn't pan out very good because as usual, just some guy is not directly comics gate and he's not a kiss in the ring kind of individual. In fact, he kind of, the fact that you have guys like um, just some guy and several others, they're not explicitly comics gate and they're not part of Ethan's circle. They're just considered, you know, acquaintances of Ethan, Ethan Van Skyvers. And they're not being harassed by groups like war campaign. You always hear the, the hashtag blame war campaign. It's kind of a joke. Anti comics gate gets mad at comics gate for something. It's cause war campaign was doing it. So then they come up with a hashtag blame war campaign, which is a joke. It's kind of a slap in the face of, look, there are, there are plenty of other people out there that are not explicitly comics gate that are pro customer supported by comics gate, not because they're comics gate, but because they're pro customer, their, their ideals align with comics gate, but they don't have to proclaim themselves as comics gate. No one's asking them to kiss the ring. And this is kind of the joke with, you know, like the hail Caesar and all that. It's a joke against anti comics gate and the SJWs and Marvel and DC. Uh, that's it's, it's, it's bullshit. A lot of it is a lot of anti comics gate and, and, mainstream comics is is mostly bullshit against comics gate so anyway that didn't work out very well going after just some guy because one like i said he's not explicitly comics gate and two just some guy can handle himself in a i mean you're, you're getting into a fight with a kid from chicago he's gonna have you he's gonna have you in the roasting capability his roasting skills have been refined through years upon the streets of Chicago in dealing with all, I mean, the kids probably, I mean, just some guys probably roasted some meth dealers into the ground to, and probably roasted them into a, like a roasted them into a fetal position where they're sitting there in their own, a puddle of their own vomit and urine. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it didn't work out very good. So then later on, John Delarus, who is an insufferable asshole, mind you, uh, doesn't believe that he's doing anything wrong at any point in time. Tries to, he, he's the Ethan pretender. He tries to be Ethan Van Skyver. But most of Ethan Van Skyver's persona, in other words, the Hail Caesar and being humble and all that nonsense, that's mostly done as an entertaining persona. It's kind of like how Alex Jones, when he goes into the, um, he go where is it? He went to court over in Texas over something, and then he his defense was, this is a persona that I do on television. It's not who I really am. Um, Ethan Van is probably more than just a quiet person. He's got the charisma, even with the monotone voice that he talks. 
<laughs> here I listen to him. It's like, we are talking about comic books today and the effects they have. And only when he gets really, really mad, do you see like a change in his tone. He goes from the monotone, but Ethan Van Skyver has charisma. He's funny. He can throw jokes. He can roast. And so therefore he provides entertainment. Doesn't matter what he sounds like on the videos. Most of the time he pulls an audience because he's entertaining. Uh, John Delarousse is not. And so John Delarousse goes after, uh, goes on to Peter Semetti's live stream, one of them, and basically spams the comments with his broadcasting his new book, which I covered a video on this. John Delarousse gets banned. He gets mad, then publicly lies about Peter Semetti. Mind you, John Delarousse, you owe Peter Semetti an apology. You lied about him about banning people. He has a policy up there, and I have put in the video proof from tweets all the way back, I believe in 2016 or 2018, in which Peter Semetti has not changed that. I think he's probably added one more definition of blockchaining. That's about it to the system. But the thing was, Peter Semetti has a policy against mass blocking people. In other words... Marvel, someone at Marvel gets mad at Ethan Van Skyver. They implement a chain block, which blocks Ethan Van Skyver and anyone who is subscribed or following Ethan Van Skyver within social media. Peter Samedi just blocked you. He's not blocked any of your fans. They can still be customers and they can still work. You've just proven that you're an asshole and a liar. You're not always honest. You're a flaming asshole. That's it. Enough said, you owe Peter Samedi an apology. So, that whole nonsense happened, and I put up, like I said, I've done a video, I'll put that in the description of the video that, you know, disproves Don, John Del, I keep wanting to say Dong De La Russe for some reason. <sighs> I may go with that here before long, just out of simplicity. By the way, John goes in there, he gets mad, pitches a fit. Well, then his buddy... Captain Cummings comes along, you know, Captain Cummings went after, decided he wanted to troll just some guy. Well, then he turns on Peter Smetti. Now, this is the fun part. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. He goes out there to troll Peter Smetti. For some reason, he goes after Peter Smetti because of a swatting incident that happened several years ago, back when Comicsgate was getting started. And there are witnesses to it, but for some reason, Captain Cummings decides that Peter Samedi has lied about the swatting, and now he thinks he's on a mission to prove it. This is the question that I need to be answered by Captain Cummings, okay? This is the, the question that you're going to have to answer for anyone to even, for me even to take you seriously on this. For me, even to consider that you're doing this for anything other than just simply tormenting someone for maliciousness like Renthamus Pulse. And that that little bit of burden of proof is, why? What possessed you to go after Peter Samedi over a swatting incident? What proof do you have that this could even possibly be fake? Because as far as I can tell, there is none. In my opinion, this is what you're doing. And you see the tweet right here. He's been gotten onto by Peter Samedi's police department. Uh, he's sitting here talking. He says, guys, the truth takes time. Just verify some information because Peter Samedi has, Peter Samedi had his police department call me to relay a message. Now I know what department to follow my FOIA. Okay, number one, FOIA is with the Patriot Act. Uh, the Patriot Act does not benefit you. Okay, you're you're not you're not the government. All right, this is how stupid you are. You're not the government. Secondly, you have to you have to file something under the Sunshine Law. Okay, <laughs> that's the correct law you're looking for, which was back in the '80s. Okay, it's not the Patriot Act. Two, the police do not relay a message over something like this. They don't call you up to relay a message. They call you up to give you two options. It's option A, look, you're harassing Peter Samedi. What you're doing is illegal. Okay, Phil? 
So here's what the police department where Peter Samedi is at is basically telling you. They're saying you have two options. Option A, you quit now while you're ahead. Option B, the department comes after you, possibly for interfering in an investigation, which they probably have a pretty good case on, and harassing the plaintiff or the person who's a part of the investigation, the victim of the investigation, which makes you look like a bad guy. I mean, to the point of it looks like you're trying to silence him, almost, which is how they're probably looking at it. Which means if they go after your ass, there's no amount of bitching or begging or pleading or even threatening to Peter Semeni you can do once they initiate an investigation into you because then it'll be the department going after you. It will not be Peter Semeni. There's nothing Peter Semeni will be able to do at that point. Okay? They're going to come after you. And as a military man with a pension with the government, you really don't want that bad mark. You don't really want to be investigated for intimidating a victim of a crime. Okay? That's almost like tampering with witnesses. Because Peter Samedi will, could be called as a witness onto a stand. So, I mean, you are technically tampering with a witness, which is mob tactics. U.S. military is not going to be too happy when they find out about that. I mean, you're talking, if you haven't already been discharged from the military, you're talking dishonorable discharge, lack of a pension, loss of your retirement, yada, 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 yada. You have a lot to lose right now for being a dick. In my opinion, you've only done this for two reasons. One, you're trying to get back at Peter Samedi for what he did to John, John Delarue's, which, honestly, John could easily run this comic book as an alterna publish. He could, he could actually push this in as an alternative published by submitting it. He, Peter Samedi's come along and said he's never submitted nothing to him. Or he could go into Open Mic Mondays, which Peter Samedi allows anybody, even those who are not Comics Gate, can go into my, to Open Mic Monday and get on his channel and have five minutes to tell everybody what their book is, or it's, it's like two or three minutes, whatever it is. He could throw a pitch right now. He could get on Open Mic Monday. It probably ain't happening now, because he's been an absolute dick about it. But I mean, way to screw the pooch and shit in your own nest, John. But back to Captain Cummings here. My, my, my belief in this is there's only two reasons you've done this, okay, Phil? You've done this to either A, intimidate Peter Samedi, and try to get him to denounce Comicsgate because you're suffering from EDS, uh, basically Ethan Derangement Syndrome, or you're trying to use this to actively punish him for being part of it. You're either trying to blackmail him into denouncing Comicsgate, or you're trying to punish him for being part of Comicsgate, which is absolutely stupid, dude, because have you ever heard of a Hearts and Minds campaign, you dumbass? You are attacking people who are on the fringe, who are basically fence sitters. You going over there and attacking them is only going to drive them over to Comicsgate. It's not going to bring them to your side. This is not how you win wars, okay? You are fighting this with I don't know. It, it's almost as if the na it's almost as if you're fighting. I don't know what you did in the Navy. I believe you were in the Navy. I don't know what you did in the Army or the Navy or whatever it was, but obviously they didn't teach you much about tactics and Hearts and Minds campaign. You're probably just a dude firing a gun at something. You're probably just a guy over on a ship. Yeah, well, you want us to launch a cruise missile at it? And, you know, Myers is on the ground like, no, we're trying to do a Hearts and Minds campaign. We'll, we'll do the hard way to get this guy out. No, no, we sent a cruise missile over there. Myers like, no, no, Phil, just... Just stop. We don't need a cruise missile because there's civilians nearby. If you kill all of them, it's going to make us look bad. We're, we'll take the hits if a few of us die for the, the greater good. A, a, Marines, are, Marines are willing to die for the greater good. Okay, we, we can do No, I'll send a cruise missile. That's what this is. You are an absolute fucktard who has no idea how to fight this, and you are driving people to comics gate. Is the most asinine maneuvers I have ever seen on the internet. And it looks like you're probably going to get some legal backlash. And even if, oh, Here's the thing. You have two options, man. You can either drop this thing now while you're away from the police department and show some compliance, or you can keep mouthing off all you want. Because I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, you may not directly talk to Peter Samedi, but your fans are directly talking to him. And you're still talking stuff online about him. And that in itself can be considered indirect harassment, which they probably are going to come after you for. 
But I mean, hey, man, you want to you want to spend your time in jail? That's your decision. But you haven't hurt Comicsgate. If nothing else, your actions are only making Ethan stronger. And the funny part is, Ethan doesn't have to do shit. He has to sit back, let you flail around in your tears, and mouth off. And the problem is, you're throwing a tantrum, and you're swinging your arms everywhere, and you're hitting people that aren't even involved in Comicsgate. And they're just sitting there like, oh my god, this is anti-Comicsgate? I'm being, I'm being assaulted by people in anti-Comicsgate for not declaring my loyalty to anti-comicsgate. I'm I'm going to go to comicsgate because you know what? I can get some protect if I'm they're going to accuse me of being comicsgate, I might as well go over there and join them because they they seem to be having fun, you know, over there making jokes and all this nonsense. I mean, Cecil's a hoot. I mean, <laughs> I can't get enough of that guy. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Tell me what you think. Is Captain Cummings a moron or or is he just is he just retarded? I mean, that that I don't under is he malicious? I have no idea. I, my my theories on that are my theory. Give me your theories on the comments. By the way, also, folks, a fuck naughty dog jumps this video up. So throw in there, fuck naughty dog, in the comments. That will boost this. That'll boost my videos. It boosts everybody's videos. If you're against what naughty dog and Sony has done, put in fuck naughty dog. You tell them how you feel, and you also boost up a voice, a megaphone for you, the people. Oh, also, if you guys are new to the channel, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, don't forget that notification bell. I am the last Raider, folks. Stay frosty, keep your head on a swivel, and I'll see you guys next time.